everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Love is Just a Word. Amy helps Cass wrangle a spirited horse, but there's more to the problem than they initially realize. Hi. Tim insists that everyone attend a holiday party. I've been saying pretty much since the beginning that I wanted to see kind of some holiday episodes. I know in Canada they celebrate Thanksgiving like we do here in the US um, and they celebrate it in October. So I was kind of hoping that maybe we would have gotten an episode that was based at Thanksgiving. We did get a Heartland Christmas in season four, um, which was good, you know, that was a special. <clears throat> but I would kind of thought it'd be nice to have a couple of episodes just throughout the seasons that show like Halloween. The Haunting of Hanley Barn was their Halloween episode, but it would have been nice to have like an actual one with Halloween, um, their Thanksgiving, and kind of Christmas in between. You know, we have seen where it's winter and we've seen like some lights around, but we don't know if those lights are actually Christmas lights or lights that they have there all the time. So I like that it says everyone attend a holiday party. So we're going to have something that is going to be set around the holiday. And my guess is the same with the next one. Um, because the one after that is called resolutions, which of course, what do you do at New Year's? You make resolutions. So I'm guessing that maybe that's going to be about the same time. But yeah, you know, I've like, like I said, I've liked the idea of doing more kind of episodes with holidays because I, li I like to see how they how they do it. Not just these guys, but like any show. It's nice to see how they do it when it's Halloween or Thanksgiving or Christmas. And like one thing I mentioned Friends in the last episode, um, so I'm going to mention again. Friends became kind of known for their Thanksgiving episodes. Um, they had like nine seasons of Thanksgiving episodes. I do not count season two. That really was not a Thanksgiving episode. It's mentioned, but I don't want to count that. But basically season one and then three through ten, they did a specific Thanksgiving episode. It became a tradition because the fans really liked seeing it. And so it was nice to see what they would come up with every year for it and to see the episodes. Uh, especially since it's such an important holiday here in America and probably in Canada as well. I should just say the Americas since Canada is considered North America. Ah, uh, and you know, the same with Christmas. It's so much fun to see how the set decorators go about what they choose to do. Like me, I like watching the Hallmark holiday movies. Um, I really haven't done any, haven't done much this year. <laughs> not, at least not yet. I've just been kind of busy, you know, here working with my channel and stuff, but you know, one thing I do like is seeing just how beautiful everything is. And when you have seasons where they do like say a Christmas episode or two and they go all out, you know, and you'll see them walking down the lane and there'll be Christmas lights everywhere and hot chocolate and, and everything. It definitely does get you in the mood. Even if you're watching the episode when it's not at the holidays, I think it kind of helps kind of push you in that mood. So I'm glad to see that there is going to be something about a holiday party. Maybe we will kind of get a little bit of a Christmas vibe with this. And like I said, I did react to a Heartland Christmas. Um, and I loved that they had something like that. I liked that they did like a separate special. I wish that they would have done another one because as far as I know, they just did that one. So I don't know if maybe it was just a one-time deal or if they were planning on doing more and it didn't go over well. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. But I do kind of wish that they had done that in season four and then maybe had done another in like season 10 or 11. And you know, basically after like Amy and Ty got married, maybe after they had their kid, um, you know, just to kind of follow up as the holidays with a new, new family, basically. 
Anyways, let's get started. Is it gonna end up not going to her? Okay, here's my question. Did he call from an unknown number? Because if it actually brought up a number, he could have called it back, or if nothing else, give it to the police. It might be a burner phone, but I don't know. I myself am not a huge fan of bears, so <laughs> I might be like, not to totally get rid of bears, you know, not to totally like extinct them, but a couple of them. Maybe, I hate to say this, but maybe Bob could say, all right, your limit is four. That's all you get. You know, might be, that dude might be okay with that. Because, but at the same time, it's like, those bears have as much right to be there as the others do. And I like how Bob is saying no. I mean, I would have no problem calling the police. And I would be like, you know what, I'm calling your bluff. You say you can't guarantee my safety. But if the police are involved, it's going to make it a lot harder for you to get to me and to these guys. Because I will make sure to tell them that you not only threaten my life, but their lives too. Enjoy prison. Because obviously he knows who it is since the guy was saying, you know, like my business or whatever. So he, I'm guessing he has an idea who it is. Bob is probably going to be stupid though and not reach out to the police and try to handle it. You know, I myself don't take well the threats. So for me, I'd be like, bring it. You know, just because you think you will get away with this doesn't mean you will. Yeah, see, that looks really pretty there. Don't look at me. Georgie's <laughs> upstairs. You go play with her. No. She Come wants on. to play with you. Get. Go on. Jack. Alright, so Lou's running a little bit behind, so we're going to take Katie to Vanessa's on the way to party. Well, we better get a move on then. Right. Let's get you a juice. Hello, young fella. Claudia. Hi. Good. Georgie. You made it. Uh, she is upstairs. Grandpa understands that, so does Dad. Georgie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let him talk. It's really no one's business. Tim, you need to relax. Just a little bit. Yeah, relax. I'll relax and look at you. She's on her way. So, is Casey going to come by tonight at all? No. No. She's at a rodeo. Wow. A lot of rodeos lately. No way. Church is right. There's no actual evidence of a date. They could have carpooled it just right at the same time. Right, exactly. If you ask me, your mom is helping herself to a delicious slice of hunky cowboy. <laughs> Hello, Miss Simon Morris. Hunky cowboy. Um, excuse me. So. So I'm glad to see Peter finally got his head out of his ass. And, you know, I can understand Lou being a bit upset about it but you know it's like she doesn't have to make any decisions she can talk to Peter I mean let's face it they've been married for a few years they have two daughters one biological granted Peter did kind of throw everything away but if he is trying to get her back, I think she should give him 
the benefit of the doubt. Especially if he is willing to work on it. Because she does still love him. So hopefully they'll kind of work things out. Because, I don't know, she seems like she's moving on with Mitch, but it's like, yeah, but at the same time, Mitch can be just an attraction. Like how Chase was for Amy. <sighs> Hopefully they will work things out and they better get the Shetlands out. Come on, get the Shetlands, get them, get them. Okay, at least they're not in that building. But. Well, at least you got the warmth now and the heat. You have to get the horse as far away as possible. What about the other animals? Get them too. That's good of them. She and Jack's car. Maybe she's in Jack's car. Cold feet, you come out of the truck, <laughs> maybe it wasn't cold feet. Maybe it was a premonition. I mean, look how things turned out. She just stayed in the truck. <laughs> Think about all the good things that have happened since then. Georgie, I gave you. Mm -hmm. Well, more than that. Give us that first friendly face you see in the morning when we order our coffee. <laughs> it's my privilege as mayor to present this year's Entrepreneur of the Year Award to Lou Fleming Morris. Come on up here, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amy. <laughs> sure. We know, of course, Monty and uh, Georgie will be okay. You know, I have a feeling Lou is going to tell Peter to get lost and pursue stuff with Mitch. I like how she said Peter is saying stuff that I wish he had said a year ago. And I'm thinking, okay, yeah, but at least he's saying something. And he is or was your husband. You should give it a shot. You know? And you can't guarantee that anything would stick with Mitch anyways. But you do have your daughters with Peter. I have a feeling she's going to pick Mitch. Which I don't agree with, but we'll see how it goes. Monty didn't move. Come on. Gotta get them both out of there. Come on, get Monty. Okay, good. You got him too. Yeah, if you said that ass will set that on fire. Where are the other horses? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Thank you. Never end. It's over. Are you sure about that? I go. What if that was just a warning? What if that was just a warning? What if he wasn't done? He's like, we're even. You sent two men to jail. Maybe that fire was for one man. Maybe there's still one man that he wants to get revenge about. So maybe it's not over. <sighs> you know, Lou says, your timing is bad. And I'm like, good. But Peter coming up mentioning about being the husband. That actually made me think of Sleepy Hollow. 
when Abby Mills was talking to this to her boss and a guy she had been involved with, but by the time season three started, they had broken up. And Ichabod Crane kind of walked up to her, being very territorial. And so it was kind of the same thing here, you know, Peter saw it and walks up being territorial. And she says, said to Peter about being ex-husband, and he's like, well, I'm hoping to change your mind on that. And I'm thinking, you separated. Have you officially filed divorce papers? Because if you haven't, then he is still technically her husband, even if you're separated. You may have taken the rings off, but I'm told the divorce is actually final. He is still your husband. I like how the title is Love is Just a Word. Which, of course, it's not. You know? Yeah, it's a four-letter word. And sometimes it can get thrown around way too much. But it can be more than that. Because love is what motivates people to improve their lives, to make changes. So it's not just a word. Like that. Looks very pretty there. <laughs> he probably did leave it laying on. Come on. Play with Remy. <laughs> there you go. Make sure no one saw. Get <laughs> back. Yeah, you are. He's making sure no one's around. <laughs> he wants to win that bet, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> Good boy, Monty. You know, you're just as bad as Georgie. Oh, you were getting too intense to this horse. <laughs> How can you see? So cute. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah, he is cute. Yeah, I think Jack lost the bet. <laughs> That's right there in the book. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he knew that was coming. <laughs> Monty and Remy's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna leave here. <laughs> And yours. There's Mitch. Okay, Luke, the girls are asking you to come inside for some hot chocolate. Obviously, we're going to find out, like I said, I'm pretty sure she does end up with that Mitch guy, so at some point she and Peter do end it. But, and you know, I get what she said. She wanted Peter to say that stuff a year ago. Maybe it's a year too late, but if that was what he needed to gain perspective, my thinking is she should at least give it a chance. Mitch is nothing that, Mitch is an attraction, but it's nothing that can amount to anything. 
and he would be the one to let go. I mean, look, Peter had Sylvia for a little bit. He might still. It did seem interesting, though, that when he saw the rings there, and he even said about it taking him a while to get back, and I was like, yeah, why didn't, when he found the rings, why didn't he come back right away? Isn't that what he should have done when he realized it? So now, of course, the whole thing is that there's this triangle, you know, you've got Peter and Mitch and Lou. So we'll see how it plays out, but Peter's going to have to work hard. You know, I like how Tim asked him, what did you say to her? And he said, not enough. And I'm thinking, yeah, but you also have to understand that after everything you guys have been through, she wasn't necessarily just going to fall into your arms. You probably should have thought about maybe she would be upset and need some time. So my attitude is, don't give up. Keep trying. You know, show that you're serious. Maybe things will turn around. Next one, of course, will be the season nine finale. And it says, Amy reveals some happy news. So obviously I know that's when she's gonna tell the time she's pregnant because we can only have them be married for a year before she gets pregnant. Instead of giving them a few years of marital bliss, they only get a year. So, That'd be a nice way to end season nine, I guess. Which then, of course, means at the end of season 10 will be when the baby is born. Thank you for joining me for this reaction. Please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Let me know your thoughts in the comments which one you think Lou should end up with, Peter or Mitch. I'm still gunning for Peter simply because he is her husband. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and if you can support me on Buy Me A Coffee, link is in the description. I'll see you for my next video. Bye.